The country is leaving nothing to chance as it seeks to exploit all its options in sealing loopholes used by Al Shabaab militia to launch attacks in Kenya. Three years after the launch of the campaign dubbed Operation Linda Boni, the government says it's not ready to end its efforts in repulsing the militia suspected to be using the forest to shield themselves and plan attacks. Operation began as Operation Linda Boni in September, but there was realization. It needs to be more sustained over a period of time, not the initial phase of like two, three months. And this is why it was again renamed and rebranded Bonnie and Crave campaign. It is not coming to an end. It's like rebranding where you are able to do what it takes to manage the situation over a long period of time. One year, two years, all three years if need be in terms of security. According to Joseph Kanyeri, director of the Boni Enclave campaigns, plans are already in progress to integrate civil rights groups, non-governmental organizations, government institutions, county governments, political leaders and local residents in efforts to crush the suspected militia. The enemy is Al-Shabaab and not the government. The enemy is not security officers but Al-Shabaab so that we have them. So the operation is just transiting to another phase which would take a little bit longer and involving various stakeholders who will bring in the best of their wealth, the best of their experience and resources that would be needed to complement the government effort. These include the civil society, these include the NGOs and these include the donor agencies and most importantly the resources at the community level will also be roped in moving forward. Despite the operation recording success of nearly neutralizing the terrorist group in the expansive forest, Kanyiri says termination of the program may occasion retaliatory attacks from the militia group. Kanyiri say the attacks have negatively affected the economy and point at the possibility that the attackers could have had help from the locals. Lamu County leaders hailing the extension of operation, saying it will help to ensure security, adding that currently over five schools have been closed within the Boni Forest due to insecurity. Linus Moshigadi for Channel One News.